All right, I'm here with Mark at the Knife Shop Australia stall for Benchmade. They are the sole distributor for Benchmade knives in Australia. So can you tell us about your company, where you've come from, uh, your background and how you come into selling Benchmade? Yeah, Alice, I've been in this business for about 10 years, but I've always had a fascination with knives. I came from another industry. I landed in this sort of accidentally. Um, I started a sharpening business and the knife obsession just grew from there and we've uh, just taken on brands. Now we're distributing Australia wide to other retailers. It's a fascinating industry. It's something you're always learning new things every day. Um, it's really enjoyable. I like doing it. Um, it's amazing. Well, we were talking just before and uh, we were saying that I, I was never a knife guy and as soon as I got a decent knife in my hand I become really obsessed with um, with sharpening them and how therapeutic that can be. Yeah. So can you tell you guys have uh, a service that you guys sharpen knives as well? Yeah, we sh we've got a, sh a retail store in Brisbane called Knife Shop Australia but attached to that is the Knife Doctor which is the original business that I started, the sharpening business. Um, I've got a full-time uh, person there now that sharpens exclusively at the shop. We sharpen between 16 and 17,000 knives a year there, plus other things, scissors, garden tools, uh, medical tools, all sorts of sharp body things, axes, anything to do with cutlery. Our shop's one of the last true cutlery shops left in Australia. We don't sell pots and pans or camping gear. It's everything to do with cutlery, knives, scissors, anything to do with cutting instruments. Uh, that's where it's progressed from the sharpening to where we are now. So how did you get on to uh, the Benchmade brand? Is it, uh, did you contact them one day and say, have you got a distributor in Australia? We can do it for you if you need. Yeah, I was buying off another distributor who, who, who finished with Benchmade and then I started buying off Benchmade. And some of the laws changed a couple of years ago regarding folding knives and then Benchmade offered me the distributorship for blue class, hunt class and gold class and we've recently taken on the black class series of knives as well. So it's got the whole range, all the accessories, anything that can be legally bought into Australia, we've got it. We get asked every day for butterfly knives and all that sort of thing but nah, nah we, we can't do that. Yeah, uh, also uh, you'd probably be able to elaborate on this bit, a bit more, what's the laws with double edged blades in Australia as a, as a whole? In Queensland it's fine, in uh, South Australia, Victoria, you need to have a permit, it's like a, a you can get a collector's permit um, to actually own a double-edged knife because a double-edged knife is classed as a weapon. Some double-edged knives are actually tools, they're not weapons. Uh, a a double-edged sticking knife was originally used by butchers for holding the carcass and moving the carcass while they're using a boning knife. So that still is a tool, but in those states it's still classed as a, a weapon because it's got two edges. But typically not something that you would be carrying in public anyway, so yeah. That, yeah that's <laughs> a sticker. <laughs> no, not at all. What do you guys got in the pipeline at the moment? Is it just the new brands from Benchmade coming in? There's always new things happening with Benchmade. It's an exciting company to work with. There's, there's all sorts of things in the pipeline. They give us little little hints every now and then of what's going to happen, which excites everybody in the shop. Um, we get first production models come to us directly as soon as they're released and we distribute those to our retailers and it creates an in interest with the public. Um, yeah, there's always something new happening with Benchmade. It's, it's a really exciting company to deal with, yeah. So in, a, in terms of expansion, you got, you, so you've got a store here in Brisbane, um, are, you, are you thinking of expanding anywhere, anywhere else? Well, funny you ask that, because at the moment I'm setting up a shop in Hobart, where basically we'll be doing axes and, and other tools there, but we'll have knives there as well. Um, and maybe further down the track we'll be opening other shops, but we're, we're not competing with our retailers, we're just offering different things in these shops. Yeah. So is, that's going to be obviously your cutlery tools, are you going to have a sharpening uh, section there as well? In Hobart, not sure yet, we'll just have to see how it goes. Always room for improvement though. Always room for improvement, yeah. But Brisbane, that's a focus on cutlery and the sharpening service is known all over Brisbane. We get cutlery coming in for sharpening from all over Australia, um, it's, it just keeps on growing.
Well, people sending stuff to get stuff yeah. sharpened by you guys. We're the Kaya Sierra ceramic knife sharpening agent for the South Pacific. So we get ceramic knives coming into us from everywhere. We um, service bench-made knives there. Uh, we sharpen them. We, if there's ever a problem with a knife, all the warranty work's done there in Brisbane. So they don't have to send it to the States. It's done here. We've got a good range of spare parts. We've got knowledge. We've got the equipment to actually do repairs and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. All right. So one of the... Um questions that I'm asking everyone is choose your child which is your favorite and uh, because we all know I'm a ranger I know I didn't get loved as much so <laughs> so here's your opportunity to choose one of your knives and um, and tell me why it's your favorite the favorite knife for me is the hidden canyon out of the hunt series bench mode that's a little skinning knife a lot of people go oh it's too small but once they get it in their hand and actually use it they find out that it's a really useful tool. It's popular with uh, deer hunters in the high country in Victoria because it carries horizontally. It doesn't hang down. It's a short blade. It's in S30V blade steel. Um, it's got a nice big belly. It's got jimping at the ricasso, jimping at the tip. It's got that great big choil there. If you want to get stuck into something, you can. Um, you can you can take meat with it, take off skin, and if you want to take a trophy, it's a good caping knife. You've got jimping there at the tip, and you can actually get in and do take the face and the cape off. It's a really useful tool. The main thing though is it's in S30 V blade steel, excellent edge retention. Uh, reports we're getting back from hunters down there, they're processing between five and six samba with this little knife before a resharpen. It's because of the grain structure of S30V. It, it's excellent ed edge retention. If you're stuck on the side of a hill in pissing down rain, you don't want to be sharpening your knife halfway through processing an animal. You want something that, that's going to do the entire job on the spot. And you want to sharpen it at home, you don't want to sharpen it in the field. So, yeah. I have had experience with that steel personally. Uh, yeah, S30V, uh, the, uh, the, the Spyderco Wolf Spider come out with the same steel and uh, having used that knife, uh, you're right, it's fantastic edge retention, blistering sharp, uh, just very good, very good steel yeah, and hardy. Ellis is it's easy to sharpen. Yeah, definitely. Sharpen. Like some of the super steels can be, give you a good edge retention but they're difficult to sharpen. S30V. Benchmade's heat treatment on these is excellent, so you've got easy sharpenability and you've got edge retention. What kind of rock well does that come through as? 60 rock well. 60? Yeah. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, not too bad yeah, at all. Yep. The grain structure is really nice and tidy on S30V. The carbides are nice and small, evenly dispersed throughout the product. Um, it's like a, a block of concrete. You've got two planes come together like that. The big pebbles are, are hard to, uh, easy to pull out. The little pebbles are, are harder to pull out. You can't pull them out. That's why small grain size, it's not going to break out at the edge. It's going to stay at the edge. The carbides will stay at the edge and actually go blunt eventually over time instead of falling out of the edge. Cheaper steels, the carbides fall out and you're halfway through something and you've got to resharpen it. That's the beauty of S30V. And that's why Benchmade uses S30V in most of their Hunt Series knives. They're changing to S30V in a lot of their models now. It's an excellent steel. It's fantastic steel. Thank you very much for your time, sir. I wish you the best in the future. Whereabouts can we find you guys? We're at Stafford, um, Wolverhampton Street. It's a light industrial area. You can find us by going through the web store, knifeshopaustralia.com.au. There's plenty of information there. There's information about the sharpening service, where we are, what we do. There's a huge range of knives. It's one of, one of the best knife shops in Australia, I believe, as far as range goes. Um, we give knowledgeable advice. We give good service. Um, we, we just try everything we can to make our customers happy. Awesome. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the show. Cheers. Thanks, Ellis.